Hopefully we didn't waste most of the day. Um, now directions. Let's take, let's consult the uh, treasure map. How do I get to that treasure? I've got to head north. Easiest way to work out which way is north. Make a compass. Second easiest way is the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, which means the buried treasure must be this direction to the north and slightly northwest. So north northwest. I guess we can go back to the coast when we made that little boat jump in it and go for a bit of an exploration. Oh, we got a ravine. Can I jump it? Yes, I can. Look at that. Pro Minecraft player. Not really. Now the bears are openly hostile. Where's my boat? Over here somewhere. Or is it still on me? No. Did I break it? My boat, where'd you go? Hold on. Am I blind? No. Hmm. Problems. I've lost my boat. That's alright, we can make a new one. Plenty of wood. Oh, that's interesting. I don't actually know where I put it. Oh, the, the bear's coming a bit closer to land. Um, we'll leave that bear to be. We won't mess with his or her family. Plenty of fish there. Alright. Um, this way, I think. North, maybe. We'll see. What do we have here? We got some more ice. A spruce biome. I may want to get a sapling or two, actually. So we'll come back for that. We got giant seaweeds. That's cool. That's not a thing in the old Minecraft. Oh, what's that? We're not close to our treasure, but I've just found the mushroom biome. This was also added in 1.8, or was it a 1.9 pre-release? Eventually 1.0 uh, feature. Uh, they, I, rem I remember them being pretty rare. So I'm not sure if they're still rare. I'm not sure if I should be excited about this or not. Shall I save the coordinates by taking a screenshot? Yes, I can. Oh, and we have some sugarcane too. I'll take the sugarcane. Oh, I got the map. Oh, I can hit things with my map. That is awesome. Look at that. Hold on. Let me just carve it out. Some sugarcane. That's interesting. Um, now we got mushrooms too. I'll probably make some proper stew. Paul Saurus Jr. used to coin the term... Uh, portable instant shroom shelter. You could make a little temporary shelter out of a mushroom by having bone meal and a mushroom in your hand, in your inventory, as a way of emergency accommodation. And I, I like that idea. So we'll keep some mushrooms on us. We can make a, per uh, a temporary little house, wherever we need. Now, of course, the acronym for permanent instant shroom shelter, P-I-S-S, -S, um, means something different. It's piss. So I think you changed it to portable munch mushroom instant shelter. A PM PMIS or something else. Let me just collect the rest of this brown mushroom. I'm not getting too many. Just once every three or four blocks or so. I'll take this and I'll go... I think I'll go back to land because... Oh, there goes my stone <laughs> axe. May have to upgrade. We'll use the remainder of our wood axe on this. Alright, <clears throat> that's good enough. Let's pick up the dropped mushrooms. I guess we could have just picked it up off the ground. Okay, uh, is the dirt any different? Not regular dirt. No way to pick that up unless we have silk touch, I don't think. So to the north we have more ice, to the east we have more ice, and to the west-ish we have this mushroom, mushroom island. So let's head back south, because I don't think we made a dent on our map, no. So it might be a fair ways away, and I don't want to get caught out without having some sort of home. So let's head back to something glowing in the ocean. You see that? What's this? It's like a floating bit of lava in the ocean floor. Shall we investigate? I think we should. And I see some more floating lava down there too. What is this? And a nice spruce biome. We'll go check out the spruce biome, but in a second, I want to... Um, oh, it's lava in the water. How is that possible? What do we have? What's this? Who are you? Zombies! Oh my god! There's a temple! There's <laughs> some sort of temple down there. They're like floating zombies. Can they come up and attack me? Hopefully not. That'd be quite rude. Okay, can I save these um, coordinates too? Take a little screenshot. Yes, please. Um, well, I'm going to guess they're not friendly. These water zombies. Where did they go? Am I playing with fire here? Is this like something you're all cringing at? Holy fuck, he's coming up and he's spinning. It's actually quite scary. 
Mm, I don't actually have any weapons at the moment. I've lost me a uh, stone axe. So let's continue on. So I've got the coordinates, and I guess that's more of the same over there. And I'll come back in an episode where I've got at least some diamond gear, because that looks a bit tough. A spruce biome. The trees look slightly different. They look bigger. Are they thicker, or are they just, like, more leafed out? Uh, we got some more underground structure over there, too. More floating lava. It looks like this whole water area's got a bunch of stuff under the water. Interesting. We'll go check that out later. What do we have here? Mushroom. General mushroom. What <laughs> a spruce biome. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting mushrooms and spruce mixed up. The sun is about to go down, too. Oh, there's a giant... Look at these giant spruce trees. And... Mossy cobblestone above ground. What the hell? Okay, you should be able to get these in, in dungeons. What are they doing? Same mossy cobblestone? Yeah. Oh my god. There's plenty. Look. There's loads of this stuff around. That is awesome. Uh, and we got some weird dirt here too. What do we have? Is that normal dirt? That is. But it's got some weird grass texture on top. Shall we go for a bit of an exploration? The sun's going to set, so I may have to make another temporary... Accommodation. Get some dirt here. Normal dirt, I think. Um, coarse dirt. Oh, wow. What's the difference between normal dirt and coarse dirt? I'm going to go and I'm gonna have a little guess here. Maybe coarse dirt doesn't actually grow into grass. Wild guess. My theory. Um, okay. Cobblestone. Oh, sheep. I may need a sheep just to set a spawn point. Because I am quite far away from my spawn location. That's a little cave. I thought it was a big cave. But what do we have here? Okay. Some generation going on. Nice generation. Uh, oh, what's going on? I'm swimming very fast. Look at me. I'm zooming. I press the okay, if you press the sprint button. I may be saying the obvious here. <laughs> but if I press the sprint button. I can actually like. That's normal speed. But if I press control. Or like double tap W. I can go like zoomy speed. That's really cool. Hello, black sheep. Um, I don't want to waste any iron on a, a pair of shears, so I need your wool. And your wool too. Can I mix and match wool types? Hopefully. Okay. Inventory problems are already starting. One more sheep. And then I should be able to make a bed. Hopefully. Hopefully I can mix up wool types. Um, Alright, the sun is going down. And I've got no obvious, um, like, hidey hole location, so I may have to dig down, build it, actually, just down here. I can put a hidey hole down here. Hidey holes, obviously, I've, I think I talked about this in a beta Minecraft video, but hidey holes are a term coined by the great Paul Soros Jr. If you haven't noticed already, I'm a huge fan, of his, especially of his older Minecraft videos. Basically, it's like a, it's in its name, it's a hidey hole, a hole you hide in. It's set up for a base. Temporarily, of course. You dig in, and you can place your stuff down. Light light it up. Put a door in, and you're somewhat secure. Three doors! Holy moly, that's a lot of doors. I know in Better Than Adventure, you get two doors per per creation, but that's three doors. That's insane. Um, what was I going to do? I need some torches, so let's light this area up, so no mobs, no mobs can spawn down here. That ought to be enough, and I may need to make... Oh, I've got a chest. Place a chest down. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's floating. Place a chest down just to organize my inventory a little bit. Uh, we'll dump the things we don't really need at the moment. And let's make ourselves a bed so we can at least set our spawn point. Um, okay, my fees are correct. You need to have all the same wool type to make a bed. Okay. That's cancelled my plans to skip the night. That's okay. Let's uh, tidy up inventory. I may make... Well, I probably will have to make a iron sword. Just to defend ourselves. Let's dump a bunch of our valuables in here. And let's go see if we can kill any mobs. Um, if I get enough spiders, I can probably make another bit of white wool. If not, that's okay. We'll go have some fun anyway. I may need my food. That may come in handy. Oh, don't throw it. Oh, it's touched the floor. Quick five second roll. I've got it. Um, alright. What do we have? Who's gonna challenge me? Yeah, I've got my iron sword. 
mostly iron armor. Um, the skeleton, I think it is. Oh, yep, I see a bow. I see a boneman. Um, skeleton. Can I creep up on it? Hello. Oh, there's two. Shit. Um, okay, let's do it. Charge! Oh, alright. Kite them around. Oh, fuck, he's coming around with speed. Look at that. I think they are a bit smarter in the newer versions. Uh, I am down four hearts. He had a friend here somewhere. Oh, and I see a creeper there too. Oh, shall I try to get a music disc? Oh, my, oh, my, am I playing with a bit of fire here? Oh, okay, if I hit the... Is that a fox? There's foxes in Minecraft. Oh, hold on. I need to hit you at least twice. One. Or you can just blow up. Yeah, no, that's fine. All right, let me kill the skeleton before it uh, ends me. And heal up quickly. There's a second creeper up there. I've just failed miserably. Oh, no. Oh, at least we got some coal here, though. That's good. What do we have? Oh, another creeper and another skeleton. Shall I try it again? Or is that just, like, way too stupid of me? I am going to try it again. Run. Oh, we can knock back, can't we? So, how many hearts is that? Is that enough for one arrow to take it? Oh, fuck. He's good. He's a good shot, isn't he? Oh, my God. Wow, he's very accurate. Shoot. Go and do it. No, no, no. Down. Shoot down. You're hitting too high. No, way too high. Keep going down. Ow. Okay. Might be a bit... Oh. Might be a bit tricky. Let me just, um... Take my time. Don't spam left click, please. Don't. Okay. Man. This must be painful for, for uh, you guys to watch. Especially if you're a fan of normal... Look at that. I'm just riddled in arrows. We have a face cam too, don't we? Yes. Look at that. I am <laughs> covered in arrows. Ah, gotta heal up. Plenty of arrows here. If I destroy a block, it'll drop, right? Yes. Look at that. Physics. Uh, we do have a, a hole here. I guess we can do some coal mining. A bit dangerous. I mean, we are having our backs turned towards possibly another creeper. That's okay. I'll be quick about this. It's funny, though. Like, you wouldn't think uh, modern Minecraft would have such a... It's a bit funny to me because I played beta Minecraft for the nostalgia factor. And I guess... I don't know, playing modern Minecraft with all these new features, and I'm sure there's a million different things I haven't actually done yet, is sort of bringing back the same vibes of when I first played Minecraft all the way back in 2010-ish, late 2010. Um, I'm counting one, two, three skeletons, and they're kicking my ass, so I think I'm going to go this way before I get into any more trouble. I don't want to lose sight of where I am. Um, I was hoping for, I don't know, a zombie or something easy to kill. Oh, there is a zombie over there. Hello. Next to a skeleton, but that's okay. Hello, zombie. You're the same. I think you drop rotten flesh, don't you? Yes, look at that. Rotten flesh. Now, I recall that being a good dog food. You can give it to your dogs. And speaking of dogs, actually, we should go back and get that wolf we saw earlier. Yeah, creeper. I'm sure we can kill you with these. Oh. Oh, hold on. He's hiding. He's sneaky. Um... I'll knock you back. Don't be in the way. Out the way. There we go. Ow. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Our boat's still here. I, um... I may have to go back to spawn and get that dog. Oh. Oh, jeez. He's got... Is that an enchanted bow? Holy crap. I don't want to find out how much... Oh. Oh, not that much damage. Drop it. Drop it. No. Oh, you did drop a normal bow, though. Awesome. Okay, I'll take that. Cool. I got a bow. And you gotta charge your arrow. You can't just spam it anymore. That's cool. Little animation. Six arrows. I got seven bones. Alright. Definitely going to have to go back and get that dog. Um, I may wait until daytime. Or I guess I can just pack up shop and leave now. Nighttime's actually not that bad. I would have... In beta Minecraft, they actually overwhelm you, the mobs. Oh. 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 Oh my god, spider. I think I'm, I'm in the habit of spam clicking. We've got to break that habit. But then if I break that habit and I end up going back to beta Minecraft, I'm going to end up dying because I'm not going to be hitting the mobs. Um, we'll go inside. The door sounds different. That is cool. Um, what do we have? Three emeralds. Alright, I'll need those bones. The iron. Coal. Bread. Copper. Mushrooms. Brown mushrooms. Diamond. What else do I need? Like a necessity that I cannot live without. I'll dump the things I don't need at the moment. 
Cobblestone, I guess we can make furnaces. Books are pretty rare, I think. Um, I'll leave the black wall. Copper. Make some more torches with the wood. I'm just getting ready for the next day. Uh, I'll take a bit of wood. We can probably leave the rest. I mean, we don't really need anything. Any of these at the moment. I'm happy with what we've got. So I have room to pick up new stuff as we go out. So as soon as the sun comes up, I'm going to sail back to spawn, get that dog, and hopefully in the next video, find out where this treasure is, and possibly find a mountain biome where I want to build my home. It's taking a while, it's taking a while though. Now I know for some people this won't be needed to be said. But if you see me do something wrong, miss something completely obvious, or like have any general tips or tricks, please do let me know. Uh, I, I am aware that I'm probably missing out on a bunch of things or doing things the wrong way. Please do let me know what I'm what I'm doing incorrectly, and I'll be sure to try to ad adapt and change. So we've only got one diamond. Uh, we can probably make what a shovel, a jukebox, perhaps. Um, there's not much else we can make with a singular diamond, I don't think. Shall we make a diamond shovel, or is that just too... No, that's, that's, that's too much of a waste, right? Let's, let's wait until we get two more and make a pickaxe. Uh, I think the sun should be coming up somewhat soon. Yep, it is morning time. And it's perfect for us to go on our boat. Oh, look at that. The clouds are actually, like, an orangey colour too. That is... That's not a thing in beta, is it? Well, at least the versions I play. Look at that, that looks really cool. That's a really good change. That's a good graphical update, I like that. The clouds are actually an orange tone. Maybe it is like, it's always been like that, I just haven't noticed. Ah, new morning. All right, we're going back to spawn. Hopefully that dog's still there and we'll tame it and have a new best friend who will no, no doubt actually protect me as I stuff up. Ooh, an enderman. 